Well, Ugandan authorities are looking out for new options to mobilize resources to fund its annual budget. Now, this comes after a recent decision by the World Bank to withdraw funding uh, to this African nation following its enactment of an anti gay law. As featured in this report, economic experts want the government to mobilize more taxes and prioritize its expenditure to plug the deficit. And here's more details of that in this report. Uganda is still reeling from an economic downturn because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But the recent announcement by the World Bank to pull support from the country over the harsh anti-LGBTQ legislation could cripple the economy. The World Bank colonies have rehabilitated all regional referral hospitals in this country. And some are still going on. Therefore, if we get extra scrutiny, we are going to delay completion of these particular projects. With reduced financial flows expected, Uganda says it has started the process to review its expenditure budget to deal with the new changes. The government will not spend money it does not have. Instead of borrowing beyond our optimal levels, we shall, whenever necessary, reduce expenditure for activities that do not add to the value of the economy or the well-being of Ugandans. Uganda plans to run a 14 billion US dollar budget for this financial year. Uganda Revenue Authority had been tasked to collect 6.8 million US dollars worth of taxes. But the Revenue Collection Agency is also looking at new strategies to reduce the budget deficit. We are very optimistic that despite uh, the high targets, the big challenge ahead of us as a nation where we must mobilize sufficient revenue to sustain us as a country with the changes in the donor environment, we will be able to rise up to this challenge. President Yoweri Museveni says Uganda's oil production, expected to start in 2025, will provide additional resources. The government is also looking at other sectors of the economy that can attract investment. If we invest strategically in tourism, in hospitality, in mining, in extractives, in our oil and gas, upping our game in uh, critical agricultural in ex exports, especially value addition. We don't need aid. We just need to put our act together. The government has also set up industrial parks in different parts of the country to attract industries to add value to local products, but also provide employment to young people. The World Bank decision has put Uganda's financial plans into uncertainty. But both the government and the World Bank have hinted on having room to negotiate the critical issues of the controversial anti-gay law. Until that happens, the country could walk a tight financial rope. Leon Sanyange, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.